Namaste. Welcome to our class today. In today's class, I like to share the yogic practice of acceptance. Acceptance in yoga means to experience the present as it is. To experience the present as it is. Some of us in our daily lives, we may feel like we are constantly stuck or reliving the same stressful situation over and over and over, kind of like that character from the movie Groundhog Day. We may stress over the same thing. It might be about the job, about money, about traffic, or the same person, about the children, our partner, our parents, our friends, or sometimes just over a situation that keeps happening over and over. And when we encounter those type of situations, there's a, a lot of emotions that come up. And the reason those emotions come up is because we resist what is. And if you notice, when you're resisting, there's tension, right? If you just pull a rubber band, right? And there's resistance, there's tension there. That's exactly what happens in our body when there's resistance in our mind towards a, a certain situation. So for example, when we are stuck in traffic, our mind wants to keep moving. We are denying what is, we are resisting what is. It might be because of our past experiences. Maybe once we got yelled at by our boss because we were late, or maybe we were late to something very important. So we have those experiences of consequences, right? And those, con those experiences is what creates these emotions in the moment. Because if you didn't have those experiences, the traffic doesn't really mean anything. It's just traffic and you're sitting. So the mind wants to keep moving. The mind doesn't want to sit in traffic. And then it starts resisting. And when it, when it does in that resistance, emotions begin to build in our body and we get caught up in this vicious cycle of um, frustration and um, anger and maybe even take it out on those people that are alongside you in traffic and then we take that disturbed mind to wherever we're going to that destination once we get there we pass along those uh, disturbed uh, uh, that disturbed energy to everyone else so how can we and that's not serving us or the the ones that we love or the ones that we are showing up for. So how do we reverse that? How do we not, or break that pattern? To break any pattern first comes observation. So the first thing we do is we observe that we are frustrated. We observe that these emotions are coming up. We observe that the mind wants to be somewhere else. And once we observe, comes the practice of acceptance. You stop resisting all those emotions that are coming up. You allow them to be there. They allow the frustration to be there. Allow the anger to be there. Once you allow, once you let them be free, you begin to relax, you begin to soften. And that's the practice of acceptance. And the other tool you can use in order to uh, release those type of, once you observe those emotions and you want to release those emotions, uh, the tool is the breath work. So when any emotion gets stuck, it just wants to be released so that the body can relax. And so one of the breath practice or breathing practice you can do is the deep belly breathing. You can expand the belly with the inhale and contract the belly with the exhale. And just continue to focus on that rise and fall of the belly. And then over time, you'll notice the mind is calming down and your nervous system is beginning to relax. 
Now, if deep belly breathing is uncomfortable for you, let's say when you're sitting in a car, you can always simply focus on your breath. Just notice the sensation of the breath going in through your nostrils and the sensation as it comes out. So the practice of acceptance is fundamental to yoga. In today's class, we will do active and surrendering postures. We include the active postures so that we, when we experience discomfort, we understand that that is part of life. Discomfort is part of life. And in that discomfort, can we bring a mind of equanimity, a mind of acceptance? That is um, part of yoga. That is the practice of yoga. And then the surrendering postures, we will practice letting go, letting go of um, the need to control. We practice non-resistance and softening and just allowing things to be just the way it is. So we will begin the class in meditation. Come to a cross-legged position. Roll the shoulders up towards the ears with an inhale, back and down. Your palms can be facing up or down. You can rest them on top of your thighs. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, softly close your eyes. Begin to relax your forehead. Soften your eyelids. Relax your jaws. And bring the awareness to the breath. how your breath flows, where you experience the breath in your body. Simply observing with no judgment. With the next inhalation, take in all things that are useful for our practice. And with the exhalation, let go of all things that do not serve us in our practice. And with the next inhalation, allow the present, accept the present the way it is, including your personal life, your professional life, your body, what causes you joy, and what causes you suffering. And as you exhale, Settle into that space of surrender. Inhale, accept. Exhale, surrender. Inhale, accept. Exhale, surrender. Bring our hands to heart center, chin towards the chest. We'll 
Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Release your hands down and flutter your eyes open. Okay, let's begin with an inhale as we roll the shoulders up towards the ears and then scrunch. Exhale, release them. Inhale, roll them up towards the ears, scrunching it up just a little more. Exhale, release. One more inhale, rolling it up. Exhale, release. Nice, let's interlace the fingers and then place it underneath your chin. Take the elbows away from you. And as you inhale, you're going to bring the elbows toward each other and then take the gaze up. Exhale, bring the chin back down, elbows go away from each other. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin comes down. Inhale, looking up, lengthening through the neck. Exhale, chin comes back to the center. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, back to center. And release your hands down. Let's extend that left leg out to the left side. So coming to a half butterfly, butterfly pose here. Okay. Take that left hand and walk it down the left shin. Right arm comes up with an inhale. And as you exhale, begin to lean to the left. Take the gaze up towards the right armpit. Release the right knee down. Breathe into the side body stretch. Inhale, slowly return back to the center. Exhale, right arm comes down. Take that left hand on the right knee, right hand goes towards the back. Inhale, begin to lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. Allow the gaze to be soft, exaggerate the breathing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. With an inhale, come back to the center. Inhale, begin to grow tall, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale, walk those fingertips forward. Go as far as it feels comfortable, not lifting your sit bones. And then begin to release. You can tuck that chin in towards the chest to get a nice stretch in the back of your neck. As you inhale, you create space in your back body. Notice the expansion. And as you exhale, you melt down towards the mat, releasing all tension from your chest. One more inhale. Exhale. And slowly walk the hands back to the center. And let's do the half butterfly on the other side. Take that right foot out to the right side, left foot in comes toward the right thigh. Walking the right hand down the right shin, left arm comes up with an inhale. And as you exhale, lean to the right, take the gaze towards the left shoulder. Release that left knee down. Breathe into that left side body stretch. Inhale, bring that left arm back to the center. Exhale, arm comes down. Take the right hand, place it on the left knee. Left hand goes towards the back. Inhale, begin to lengthen through the spine. 
exhale twist gaze towards the left shoulder soften your eyelids your jaws and begin to exaggerate that breathing inhale lengthen exhale twist with the next inhale, come back to the center. Take a moment. Okay, with the next inhale, begin to grow tall, lift up through the crown of your head. Exhale, leading from the chest, begin to sp uh, spider those fingertips forward. And begin to fold, relax your neck. Holding here for three breaths. With the next inhale, slowly walk the hands back to the center and take that right foot towards the back and come to tabletop. Spread the fingers, your wrist is aligned with the shoulder, knees are hip distance apart. Okay, we'll tuck the toes, lift the knees, and then come to a balancing posture here on your toes and your hands, and release the knees back down. Okay, untuck the toes, send that right knee up. So the right knee or the right uh, lower leg is parallel to the floor. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale, bring that knee back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down. 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 And then this time we're going to lift up that knee and make circles, about five circles in one direction. And five in the opposite. You may have the tendency to collapse into the left arm and try to press the mat away with both hands. Okay, when you're done with the fifth circle, send that right leg back and up, and then shoulders back, take the gaze forward, inhale. Exhale, bring that knee towards the nose or the chest. Inhale, send that right leg back, arching through the back. Exhale, rounding through the back, knee comes to the chest. Inhale, sending that right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale, send that right leg back. Exhale, last one. You're actually done. Now you're going to send that right leg back, cross that right foot over, and then we'll begin to tap. Okay, and then take the gaze towards the right shoulder, and then begin to tap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and bring that right foot back. Holding here for Chakravakasana, send that left arm forward, feel that nice line of energy from the right heel all the way through the left fingertips. Inhale, lengthen just a little bit more pulling that right foot back and reaching with the left fingertips. And as you exhale, bring that knee towards the elbow. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. 
Return back to Chakravakasana. Inhale, exhale, left hand comes back, right knee comes back. And let's bring the hips towards the heels and take a moment in child's pose, walk the hands forward. Release the forehead and the chest down towards the mat. Take this moment to accept what has shifted. Perhaps the breath. More heat in your body. Allow all those things to be there. No resistance. Begin to fully surrender to everything that has shifted. Rising back up to tabletop. And we will do the same thing on the other side. And just be mindful that your wrist is again aligned with your shoulder, your knees are hip distance apart. Okay, so now pressing away from the mat with both hands, lift that left knee up. So now the lower left leg is, in, is parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring that knee back. Inhale, sending that knee up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, opening up that hip. Exhale, back down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to send that knee up and make circles, five circles in one direction. Try not to collapse into that right arm. And now the opposite direction. Now slowly send that right leg back and up. Looking up as you arch through the back. Inhale. As you exhale, rounding through the back, knee comes towards the chest. Inhale, sending that left leg up and back. Exhale, knee towards the chest. Inhale, arching through the back, breathing into the heart center. Exhale, knee comes towards the chest, squeezing at the bottom. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Let's send that left leg back. Cross it over and then tap 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now bring that left foot back. Find our Chakravakasana sunbird pose. Right arm comes up. Squeeze into that left glute. Use the core to really lengthen through the left leg. Reach through the right fingertips. Inhale. And as you exhale, bending into that knee, bring that elbow towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to sunbird pose. Exhale, release your right hand and left knee back down. And let's come back to child's pose this time. Wide-legged, knees are away from each other. And then walk the hands forward. Begin to release your chest and the forehead down towards the mat.
Begin to relax fully and deeply, let go of all effort in this posture. Slowly rising back up, come back to tabletop. Okay, inhale. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, begin to walk the dog by bending one knee at a time. So stretch out those hamstrings. You can even shake your head, yes and no, if you feel like you're holding on to tension in your neck. Okay, send that right leg up. And then turn the right heel in towards the right glute. And just make circles, five circles in one direction. And let's go in the opposite direction. Send that right leg up and release that right foot back down. And press those heels down towards the mat as you lengthen through the spine, send those hips up towards the sky. Take that gaze towards the back, your knees or your navel. One more breath. And send that left leg up, bend into that left knee. Let's make circles with that knee, five circles in one direction. And let's go in the opposite direction. Send that left leg up just a little bit more and release that left foot back down. Holding here for five breaths in downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, send those hips up, exhale, send the heels down. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. And with an inhale, look forward. As you exhale, walk the feet forward. Take your time, come to Uttanasana, forward fold. Feet are about hip distance apart or closer, whatever makes you feel stable. And then fold your hands, place your hands in the crook of your elbow and just hang. Allow the torso, your spine, your neck and your head to fully relax. And with an inhalation, draw the energy, draw the breath up through the legs to the pelvis. And as you exhale, take that breath, allow the energy to flow up through your spine. And just beginning to cool and relax your torso and your head just a little more. Surrendering the weight of your head. Soften your forehead, your eyelids, and your jaws. One more, one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands down. Bending into your knees, slowly begin to rise up with an inhale. Take the arms over the head, let the palms meet. Exhale, hands come to heart center. And take a step back with the right foot. It doesn't have to be too far away from each other. Keep, bring the right toes in about, so the back foot is about 60 degrees, maybe 60 to 80 degrees. Both feet are somewhat aligned. 
feel stable by pressing into all four corners of each foot. Anchor down through the balls of the big toe. Okay, take a nice long inhale, really root down as you extend up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, fold over that front leg. Release your hands down towards the mat. You can even use blocks here if the hands don't reach the mat. And as you inhale, lift up just slightly. And as you exhale, bend into that left knee as you release the left side of the chest down over that left thigh. Inhale, begin to extend that front leg. Exhale, bending into that knee, releasing, letting go, fully surrendering. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, surrendering. Inhale, lengthening, activating. Exhale, surrendering. One more, inhale. Exhale. Placing your hands down on the mat or the blocks. We'll lift that right leg up. So with an inhale, begin to lift up that right leg. And as you exhale, grounding down, rooting down through that front leg or the standing leg. Inhale as you lengthen and take that right leg up just a little bit more. Exhale, rooting down through the left leg. Inhale, lengthening, lifting. Exhale, grounding. With an inhale, send that right toes up towards the sky. Exhale, bend into that right knee. Place that foot by the left foot. Hold on to the opposite elbows. Coming to Uttanasana, you can swing from side to side. Shift the weight forward and back. Relax the crown of the head down towards the mat. And release your hands down. Inhale, begin to rise up, take the arms over the head, palms meet. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take a moment to connect with your breath, connect with your body, standing in Tadasana, mountain pose. And take a step back with your left foot. So if possible, both heels are aligned. If not, it's okay. Both legs are straight. Allow the stance to be not too wide, not too short. Finding that nice stability where you can press down through all four corners of your feet. Notice that you're at the back heel is not up. Anchoring through the balls of the, the big toe feeling nice, steady, stable. Inhale, begin to lift up. And as you exhale, fold over that right leg. With an inhale, lifting up slightly. Exhale, bend into that right knee as you release the right side of the chest on top of the thigh. Inhale, lifting and lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, folding and surrendering. One, two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, surrender. Last one, inhale, exhale. And placing your hands down on the mat, you can use the blocks 
going to lift that left leg up. With an inhale, take the right heel up towards the sky. Feel the lengthening. And as you exhale, ground down through that standing leg. Inhale, lifting that left leg up just a little more. Exhale, grounding down through the standing leg. Inhale, lengthening, lifting. Exhale, grounding. Inhale, lift and stretch those toes up. Exhale, bend into that left knee. Place that left foot next to the right foot. Relax into Uttanasana. Once again, grab onto the opposite elbows like we did last time. And you can shift your weight forward and back or side to side. And releasing your hands back down, bend into your knees, and then slowly take that right knee down and bring that left foot back. And cross both feet, so right ankle on top or left ankle on top, it doesn't matter. And then roll yourself down to seated. Very nice. Once you come back to seated, let's extend that right leg in front of us. And then right foot is in towards the inner thigh. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, begin to reach with those fingertips. Go far as far as you can and then release your hands down. Continue to breathe, lengthen as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Inhale as you lengthen, fold as you exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Slowly come back up with an inhale and then bring that knee up, the, the right knee up. Hug that knee with your left elbow. Take that right hand towards the back. Inhale, begin to lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. Take that gaze towards the left shoulder, sorry, the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale, exhale. And release, come back to center with an inhale. The right knee comes back down. Okay, sitting up nice and tall here. Take a nice long deep breath as you flex the left toes towards you. And then send that left foot towards the back. Take your hands towards the back. If you're not in the front of the mat, you may want to scoot up a little bit. Take the hands towards the back and you can stay here or you can slowly bend into your elbows. And then rest for a couple of breaths here. Or go all the way down if that feels good for you. You can even grab on to the opposite elbows. Release any tension in your hips. With the next inhale, expand the chest. And as you exhale, relax, release any tension in your chest and your shoulders. One more in-breath as you activate the body. And as you exhale, let go. And 
and using your hands, being mindful. Let's come back up. And send that right leg in front of us. Left foot comes in toward the, in towards the right inner thigh. Drop the left knee down. With an inhale, float the arms up. As you exhale, begin to reach with those fingertips. Go as far as it feels comfortable and then release your hands down. The hands can be on the shin. It can be on the floor, your toes. Inhale as you lengthen the entire back body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. With the next inhale, float the arms back up. Exhale, arms come down. And bring that left knee up. Hug that knee with your right elbow. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Take the gaze towards the left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly give. come back to the center. Okay, dropping the left knee back down, flex the right toes towards you, sitting up nice and tall. And then take that right foot towards the back. And then we fall back mindfully finding the posture, opening up that right hip. Maybe one side felt a little bit easier than the other. So stay present with that. Don't try to force it. Work with it. If you're laying all the way down, you can relax your arms alongside you or grab onto the opposite elbows. With the next exhale, release any tension in your joints, your knees, your hips. And with an inhalation, begin to expand the chest, taking all the air from your room. And as you exhale, relax, release all tension from your chest and your shoulders. Even though you're in this posture, you should feel light. There's no struggle. Slowly using the strength of your arms, rising back up. And let's extend both legs in front of us and use a blanket for our neck if we need to. I like to. Laying down, just take a moment to really extend both toes away from you and take the arms over the head as you inhale. And as you exhale, release, let go of everything. <sighs> Inhale, full body stretch, walk the heels down, point the toes away from you, interlace the fingers, reaching up as someone's pulling you in the other direction. Exhale, let go. <sighs> One more. Inhale as you activate every cell in your body. Exhale, let go.
Let's bring the arms alongside us. Draw the right knee towards the chest, hugging that knee towards the right armpit. Release the shoulders down. Use the biceps to really bring that knee a little bit closer. And begin to flex the left toes. And now release the left leg. Allow it to just hang. Let's release the right leg back down. Draw the left knee towards the chest. Hugging that knee a little bit closer to your left armpit. And extend through the right leg. Flex the right toes towards you. And now release the right leg. And release that left leg back down. Draw both knees towards the chest. You can grab onto the opposite elbows and then curl up into a ball maybe if it feels good for you. Or just release the head down, swing from side to side or stay in stillness. And then slowly begin to relax your legs away from you. Take the arms out to the sides and let's get ready for Shavasana. Allow the feet to be away from each other. Arms are slightly away from the body so that your shoulders feel balanced and nicely relaxed. Take a deep breath in as you draw the energy in from the tip of your toes all the way to the crown of your head. Feel the entire body expanding from that in breath. And as you exhale, release the weight down, the weight of your body to the earth. Let it support you completely. As you inhale, drawing that energy in through the tip of your toes all the way to the crown of your head, expanding, activating the entire body. And as you exhale, let go, release the weight of your body down towards the earth. One more deep inhalation. And exhale. Continue to stay as I sit up and lead you through Shavasana for the next few minutes. If your eyes are not closed, gently close your eyes. And bring the awareness to your breath. Relax your jaw and allow the tongue to rest on the roof of your mouth. And relax the space between the eyebrows.
with each breath become more aware and present in the moment. Allow yourself to embrace this journey of wholeness. Give yourself full permission to just be in this moment. Take a nice long in breath. And with the out breath, let go. Turn back to the gentle inhalation and exhalation. Allow the body to soften and relax into the mat. Nothing to do, nowhere to go, no one to be. Allow yourself to feel that subtle sensation of weightlessness as you let go just a little more. Melt like a puddle into the earth underneath you. Skin softening away from the muscle. The muscle softening away from your bones. Fully dissolve. Continue to feel the support of the earth. Continue to let go a little deeper, trusting in that support, leaning into its guidance. Allow your body to be just as it is. Allowing yourself to be just as you are. Allowing this moment to be just as it is. Taking your time very gently, bringing awareness to your body, 
begin to move your fingers, your toes. Slowly turn to one side. And come up to a seated position with your eyes closed. Bring our hands to heart center, chin towards the chest. Let's seal this practice with the affirmation, I am at peace. And let's say this affirmation in our own minds in silence three times. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Flutter your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. As always, I love hearing from you and uh, you can always reach me through the website www.thirdeyefitness.com or www.streamyoganow.com Continue the practice throughout the week and I will see you next time.